Hello, I'm Matthew Bose and welcome. I don't know about you, but I find all the billions of pieces of nutritional advice that are hurled at us morning, noon and night a tad overwhelming. So I'm going to try and find a path through it all here. I'll be exploring all the things that I find interesting uh, to do with nutrition, health and general vitality, and probably more besides, because I do love a tangent. This will be like a virtual scrapbook for all the things that I think are worth investigating and learning about so that I can take charge of my own healthcare. And hopefully you'll find some of it interesting and perhaps useful too. I think the key to good general health in the modern Western world is to understand exactly what lies between us and a healthy lifestyle. I suppose it depends what a healthy lifestyle means to you, but to me, it means a relatively disease-free, graceful aging. There are five established barriers to healthy choices, and they're headlined as biological, time, social, psychological, and economic. And they're all pretty important in their own right, and of course, many of us have several at once. But there is an overarching super headline or intrinsic theme through all these, and that's knowledge. Knowledge is the key to overcoming all the barriers. I think knowing the hows and the whys of things is so, so important. If someone says, uh, don't eat sugar, you think, well, why? Because you need to know how it affects your body, because when you do, you'll know the reason why. The same with exercise, say. Why do exercise? Well, how does it affect my body? What are the pros? What are the cons? Drink water, okay, but why? What are the effects? What are the advantages, the disadvantages? All these things we need to know. Always ask why. Because knowledge is power, right? The power to gift ourselves a healthy body and mind. I think many people turn to nutrition because of their weight, or a disease draws them into thinking about making changes. But as time goes on, it becomes clearer and clearer to me that imposing something, such as a diet, onto your body just rarely works. There may be results in the short, controlled initial period, but then what? So it seems logical to me that we should work in unison with our bodies and our minds. Bolting something on and forcing it into submission is just not working. So I'm going to investigate and generally poke about some of these nutritional claims and the advice that we hear and we're given so often and see if I can ask the relevant questions like why especially and how and all of that sort of thing and hope that the answers to those questions will somehow help me build a framework or, or a blueprint to help me overcome the aforementioned barriers, but also then to build a strong and vital body that can heal itself and consequently change my life for the healthier, for good. But I don't want transient fatty waffle. I want actionable and practical things to do to help me reach my optimal health. And if I find them, I'll bring them to you. And I hope in turn you'll teach me things and together we'll be unstoppably awesome.